Marvel Studios does not have a plan for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They are doing everything play by play, according to actress Lashana Lynch. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Let's get into this here. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. She spoke with Screen Rant while promoting her film, Bob Marley, One Love. And this is what she had to say. Uh, for those who are not familiar with Lashana Lynch, she played Maria Rambo in the first Captain Marvel film. And then she made a cameo appearance, I guess, in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And then did a cameo appearance in The Marvels, where she shows up as a binary in an alternate universe alongside the X-Men's Beast. Uh, but uh, she was asked about Screen Rant, about uh, her future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if she knows any of their plans, and she says... Uh, that she did know, I guess, a little bit about what their plans were going into the Marvels movie. But she says, I didn't know what would happen next. I don't know anything. Literally every single increment of the character has been play by play. So I knew about Captain Marvel. Then I knew about Doctor Strange. And then I knew about the Marvels. So uh, clearly they weren't telling her if they had a plan for the character. She's saying it's all been play by play. Uh, and that leads me to believe that I don't think Marvel Studios has plans for a lot of their stuff. This is just another piece of the of a lot of these massive amounts of evidence that we are getting uh, almost on a week by week basis. Now, uh, she even went on and said, I didn't even get uh, the script for that. I just had those moments. I know what you know. And that's it. So it sounds like they didn't even provide her a script for her cameo. She didn't see any of that. Um, and she just had like kind of what those, what she would be doing, uh, in those moments. Uh, but, uh, clearly they're keeping her in the dark. Maybe that is the MO over there. Uh, but it seems just kind of weird that you wouldn't let your actress or actresses know what exactly your plans are moving forward. You would think you would want to keep them in the loop. Uh, I, you would think the agents would have some ideas for that. And maybe she's just, uh, having to deflect. She is talking obviously, to Screen Rant and the press. So that is a possibility. But I'm of the opinion that uh, when, a quack, when a duck quacks, it's probably a duck, right? Uh, that's probably, I totally messed up that analogy. But you know what I'm talking about there. Uh, because we do have all this other, all these other pieces of evidence that they really have no plans. We have uh, Ali Salim, who was the director for Secret Invasion. He admitted that they were cobbling together the entire series in the editing room after they released the first episode of the series. Uh, he said this here, uh, from what other, Mar or he was asked by, uh, Olivia Singh at Insider, from what other Marvel directors and actors have said, sometimes things in the scripts change at the last minute or the day of filming. What was your experience like for Secret Invasion? How closely did it follow all the scripts and how much room was there for improvisation or adjustments? And he says, I don't want to play semantic games, but I think of it as an evolution. As you hunt down story, everything is constantly evolving and it's a fascinating process. I guess there are moments of improv, like between Sam and Don, between Sam and Ben, there are really rich moments of improv. There are actors who rely more on the script. However, this is the key point of his answer. He says, and I think as we are editing, we're still finding the story. We were finding the story on episode six up until episode one had already aired. So he says they were still trying to figure out what the story of the show was after they had aired the first episode. So clearly cobbling it together piecemeal because they literally don't have any idea what they're actually doing. He says that's part of the beauty of it is that Marvel just keeps hunting it down and using the resources they have to come up with the best story possible and the quest never ends. They haven't created the best story possible in a very long time because they clearly have really bad script writers and they don't have any plans. We also have this report from Tatiana Siegel at Variety. Uh, she said at the gathering in Palm Springs, executives discussed backup plans, including pivoting to another comic book adversary like Dr. Doom. Obviously, this was before Jonathan Majors was found guilty and they let him go and they got rid of him. Uh, so they were already creating backup plans, backup plans for for that uh, possibility. Uh, I almost think that they were creating those plans because their idea of having Gang the Conqueror be this big threat, they completely undermined in uh, both the Loki series as well as in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, where he is basically defeated almost immediately. He's defeated immediately as soon as he arrives on the scene, completely undercutting any kind of threat he could potentially be moving forward. 
Uh, she also said that they sources say there have been talks to bring back the original gang for an Avengers movie. This would include reviving Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, both of whom were killed off in Endgame. So you can probably say, oh, well, that is evidence that they uh, did indeed have plans. Well, it's also evidence that uh, they are scrambling because all of like their quote unquote plans that they don't really, I don't think they really had in the first place are being um, poo pooed on. People aren't interested in it. They're, they be completely backfired. I mean, the Wasp Quantum Media bombed, the Marvels bombed, et cetera, et cetera. And so they're having to go back to uh, what was successful, what, five years ago, uh, five plus years ago. Um, because they don't have plans, right? These th This is someone scrambling. We need to go back to the original Avengers because Kang the Conqueror didn't work. So clearly to me means you don't have a plan because Kang the Conqueror did not work. Uh, we also have evidence here of the Daredevil Born Again series. It was completely scrapped and they're doing an entire creative reboot. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt said that the company was planning, quote, a significant creative reboot of the series. Uh, and then to that end, they removed writers Chris Ord and Matt Corman from Creative Duties and let go of the show's directors. Uh, as part of that creative reboot, the company has brought back Deborah Ann Waltz to play Karen Page, as well as Eldon Henson to play Foggy Nelson. They were not part of the original film, uh, original television show that they had planned. So again, completely changing whatever plan they had because uh, they don't actually have plans. They're just putting things together, hopefully finding something that will uh, hit and maybe then formulating something off of that. But I don't think that they have any plans. And then just to be clear how they literally don't have any plans with Daredevil, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio recently confirmed that they are now having the Netflix shows be canon to what they're doing in Daredevil Born Again. He says, during our restart of all the creative on Daredevil Born Again, all the creatives got together and said, look, this is how we've got to do it now. So we are for sure only speaking about it in terms of being directly connected to the original Daredevil. And that's a great thing. So this is very different from what he told Screen Rant just maybe what six, uh, I guess uh, right after he was, I guess he was promoting the Hawkeye series. So it was probably a year ago. Um, this is what he told Screen Rant. I think from my point of view, like a lot of the Avengers stuff, a lot of the MCU stuff, they try to connect as many dots to the original canon as they can. And some dots are just not possible to connect. So he's saying they weren't connected, right? But he goes on and says, and that's what we've done with connecting to Daredevil and vice versa. There are some dots that are connected. So he's saying that there were some that are connected, but uh, there's some that are impossible uh, to connect. So clearly saying different versions of the different of, of the character and everything like that. Whereas now he's saying that it is indeed canon to the Netflix's Daredevil. So again, changing that plan, quote unquote, changing that plan, right? Which, I mean, I think this is, I think I've laid it out pretty clear. I mean, this is just what four or five examples. I think it's very obvious that they don't really know ex what they're doing over there. They're literally just a child with a bucket of paint trying to throw things at the canvas. And hopefully uh, people will buy into the absolute modern art disaster that they are going to create because they don't have anyone actually uh, painting. Uh, they don't have a Michelangelo. They don't have uh, a Rembrandt uh, with a vision. And I think that's very obvious. Uh, the... Uh, mirage that Kevin Feige was this guy who had a vision has com been completely uh, evaporated uh, based on what they've put out. I mean, the Marvel secret invasion, a man in the wasp Quantumania. Uh, even going back to Dr. Strange in the multiverse of madness. Sure. It did well at the box office, but people didn't like it. And no one's really talking about it now, or even going back and rewatching that film. Instead, people are going back, rewatching Iron Man. They were going back, rewatching Thor. They're going back and rewatching the stuff that was successful where they clearly did have people with creative visions and they had a creative vision. We saw what that creative vision was in the post credit scene of Iron Man that they were going to create the Avengers. And what did they do? They fulfilled on that promise uh, and they brought the Avengers together. Uh, but those are my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you guys make of what Lashana Lynch had to say. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.